After approving your account, you'll have access to the dashboard and many other features. You can either use this quick link to start a new campaign, or you can look through the general information and stats that go across your whole account. If you've already sent a campaign, this is the first thing you'll see on your screen. Just like in the campaign area, you'll be able to delete the campaign, copy it, view the most important stats, view the report, download or print the newsletter, preview it, get the link to the online version, or save it as a PDF file. A bit lower, you can see this month's new unique subscribers and the ones that signed up this month and last month. Please remember, these numbers have little to do with your plan. You can even have a million unique subscribers listed here and still pay nothing. On the other hand, if you delete all of your subscribers but already sent to a thousand of them, you won't be able to send more newsletters to any new subscribers beyond that thousand. The most important limit connected with your subscribers is shown here. This includes all the subscribers you've sent to. They will be counted here even if they unsubscribed, bounced, or got deleted. This number might be gradually reduced depending on your sendings. The oldest unused emails are subtracted from this number in about a two-month period. And here's how many emails you've sent in the last 30 days. Next, you can see your monthly subscriber growth. Here, you can see and export the stats for all of your sent campaigns in a specific month. And at the bottom, you have a little overview of the autoresponder and web form stats. You can compare this month with last month. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.